Hello guys, hello designers. Today um, I'm filming a very quick video uh, with a review of newly added function within Adobe Fresco and it's an automatic color palette from a picture or an image. So I've already tried it. Uh, I just want to quickly show you how to do that if you haven't seen that uh, done yet. And I will also share with you my opinion of what I think about it because I absolutely love creating custom color palettes and I use pretty much any um, um, tool um, which is available out there <laughs> to do that. But uh, here it is. Uh, okay, so let's try that. So I am adding a new file within Adobe Fresco and all I need to do now is press on the add or place an image or a photo on the left hand side and I am going to find an image which I used to create a custom color palette in the past so we can then compare of um, what I did comparing to Adobe Fresco um, automated function so this is my uh, inspired by Venice and Ven Venetian art um, color palette this image um, obviously we couldn't we weren't avail we weren't able to travel in the past so I couldn't really <laughs> um, visit Venice but I'm following Diane, Diane von Furstenberg on Instagram and she happened to be in Venice pretty recently so this is where uh, this image comes from uh, from her Instagram feed so anyway so once you place the image you press done and then you need to check your color wheel and as you can see um, Adobe Fresco added a color palette here on the left hand side just under the color wheel and it's actually called the image and if you can see I would say it looks pretty dull and it looks nothing like um, uh, the image that you actually see now if you want me to show you um, how the color palette color palette which I created from the same image it looks um, completely different let me show you so I'm just gonna place um, an image from photos because I think I have it uh, saved over here so you can pretty much um, compare this to the original image and you can see some resemblance but if you can s look at the um, color palette that um, Adobe Fresco has created automatically for me I think it's nowhere near uh, the original image I think once you add any other image um, after uh, another um, what uh, Adobe Fresco is trying to do is, is trying to create a, a second color palette from a different image and you can see it is uh, closer um, to uh, the original however um, well I, 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 I would say it is acceptable actually so it is fine but the original image from um, uh, uh, a more complex complicated uh, source of information I think Adobe Fresca did a pretty um, poor job um, I hope they will get better in the future whilst we using this uh, feature more and more often but um, for now I would say uh, Procreate does uh, this better and um, this is my personal opinion anyway if you're looking to learn how to create uh, this beautiful color palettes please uh, I will link the video at uh, the top right hand corner of this video so you can follow through and quickly check this out but um, otherwise um, I hope this video is helpful um, see you next time